Lap 72, Caution is on the track for the leader at 108 miles, Todd Bodine crashes out of turn number two. Ward Burton apparently involved as well. Parts and pieces lying all around the mile and a half Charlotte Motor Speedway. Crowd on its feet, dramatic change. We expect to see Darrell Waltrip make a driver change here. Here's what happened. What do you think, guys? I don't know, we gotta wait. <laughs> Sucked the back end out of the 75. You see him make that little bit of bobble and when he did hit the 31. And uh, that's the way it happens. Ward Burton's number 31 up into the wall. The 75 of Todd Bodine slithering down to the bottom of the track and takes him out of first place. Everybody's gonna be on pit road now. Another look here, Ernie. I tell you, it really looks like to me like um, with the program. I tell you, I don't know how you do that. You spin out, uh, <laughs> come in, hit, take your rear bumper off, and still. Oh, we got a car with a wheel off going down the back straightaway. Let's see who that belongs to. That's off Gordon's car, the number 24, they say. Oh. Uh-oh. Here it is, uh, going into turn three. Going into turn three. I bet Jeff you we've Gordon, had a wheel caution bearing. is out. We've, we've obviously had a wheel bearing problem, it looks like, with Jeff Gordon because uh, there's no other way that that front tire can come up. The hub and everything, I think, is still hooked to oh, it. That's, just, that's just the wheel. They didn't get the lugs on the way it looks right there. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, they got deep troubles. That, that's one of the things, no matter how good you run, no matter how things are going, you got, you got to have the right right brakes. And he's just getting all the wrong brakes today. Randy? Well, you got that right, Richard. He had no idea it was coming. They evidently left uh, the lugs loose on the right front. He just came over the radio and said, guys, I got a bad vibration, and that's what happened. We'll try and get a word. Or the leader by about nine seconds. The Terry Labonte car back in the lead lap. It's in 11th spot. Started 13th today. Here's 75. Todd will in another time. We kind of kind of hit that one on the nose. I mean, <laughs> when, when Todd came in and pitted, they just changed tires, and uh, they didn't really fix the problem. So um, it's, it's going to have to be something they're going to have to go to the garage area and, and jack the rear end over a little bit with a panel bar or something and uh, get it back. Dick Bergeron can add to that. Well, he's got a radio transmission that they've got a broken Panar car. It's about impossible to drive the car with one of those things, and they'll almost certainly have to come in and do some significant work to fix it. Caution is out around the track at lap 107. Yellow is down. Caution is out again as we see the 75. Badly batters a battle start coming off the road. Ken Schrader, who's tried so many times to win this race, his 11th start came to finish second, 1991, behind Davy Allison. The Ricky Rudd story. Steve Burns has it. After the last pit stop, Ooh. see one off the wall. Hold Let's on go just a here. moment. Car number 94. That's Bill Elliott. And he has socked the wall hard. The Batmobile. Running in 18th position. Bill Elliott's number 94 is going to bring out the fourth caution of the afternoon. Lap 134. Getting ready to clamber out, taking off the steering wheel is Bill Elliott in the McDonald's car. We'll take a break, come back and show you what happened here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway to Bill Elliott. It does, it really looks a lot quicker when they turn the lights on. But it always did on any short track you went to. You know, you'd see it in the afternoon. Ooh, we got trouble going into turn one. Two car. The number two car of Rusty Wallace is slammed into the wall hard in turn one. He's wiped out. He did that right under the condo where uh, Roger Penske's at. I'd almost venture to say that that had something to do with what he did in that, the, that part uh, didn't worry me. It was right in front of that 43. That's <laughs> when that, that always bothers me when they have a deal like that. <laughs> well, there's Rusty Wallace's car number two dragging itself back to pit road at lap 152 after it struck the first turn wall. Caution of the day after Rusty Wallace socks the wall going into turn number one. How fast he miles an hour? Well, here he is. Oh, see. Ooh, he got tagged. Yeah. Big time. That's what I was telling you. The way that car was wrecked, I, I told you on the on the break, I said, something else has happened. You know, Ricky Rudd the third, Ken Schrader right after him in fourth position. And the 28 that had been running in fourth position at lap 170, we're now at 173, going behind the wall. Here's where it began to slow down. 
you can see the smoke in there. It looks like something like a right rear hood. Or, it's, it's really hard to say, you know what I mean? Oh, oh we got okay. trouble in turn four. Big time. Come on, Bobby. <laughs> there you go. Red boat eyeing to getting spun around, and Bobby Hamilton made the move of the day to get through that one. Boy, he looked like he was going to get caught up, and then some. Coming on the pit road. A couple of bruised cars. Brett Bodine, one. We had two of the Bodines in the same wreck. And Loy Allen, I think, is part of that as well. Todd Bodine? Yeah, I think Todd was right in there. I don't know how much he got into it, but he, he's in the pits also. Well, there, the caution's out, too. Caution number six. Lap 232. Boy, Allen. Well, Rick, Benjamin, Rick Benjamin down at the STP fits in. Uh, Ken, as we work toward the second half of the race, let's take a quick look at our auto light race replays of John Malloy. Malloy suffering from a broken arm. David Smith replaced by Mike Moore. And after every single pit stop, Andy Petrie gathers the boy round, and they all take a look at a replay of the pit stops. is on the speedway. Yellow is out. Todd Bodine showing a lot of smoke as he came down out of turn number four. I don't know if he blew it up or where he's going to hit something else again. Number seven. <laughs> yeah. It looked like this might be some blew up stuff. This here. one looks like blow up stuff. Yes. Caution number this seven, guys. Right? Terminal. Yeah. When you've been having a day like that, yeah, it's right. better to be a terminal. Yeah. A lot of times it is. Yeah. Well, Schrader's led 100 laps so far. Oh, so he's having a good day. Three of these seven cautions have, uh, three of them, have involved uh, incidents with Todd Bodine. Yeah, er Ernard's not going to give up easy. Rod and Ernard's probably going to race for the rest of the day. But it's a race other than for track position. Track position count is because right. Earnhardt is a lap down. Oh, okay. After that pit stop, he didn't get up to speed enough to you know that speed limit on well, pit road. The speed road. limit on pit road is what we really, really, really hurts them. Really Otherwise, they'd lost about a half a lap or something. It looks like the like yeah. road's going to come in. On the other hand, <laughs> must not have been able to make it. So now the question is, they figure so close, we're down to those final laps. What, it's three to go? It must have run out. <laughs> yeah, three laps to go, I, I don't think he'd have come in. Ricky Rudd comes in for just a quick splash of gas. Two seconds worth to be exact, with just two laps remaining. Was that a planned stop? They sure must have known he was coming in. Hey, you know you know who gets the uh, award tonight? Those spotters. What a job they have done. They have, they they have done a good, it's been a good, clean race all night long. That slickest move to somebody. I'm sure put those spotters right up on top. All 42 of them. White flag White is flag. down, and this is it. For the money, is there enough fuel left in Joe Gibbs car number 18 to take Bobby Lavani to victory lane? Four cars out of fuel in these final moments. Sterling Marlin slowing down. He's come out of fuel. He's dropping back, and he's headed on the pit road now. They told him he was running for the Yep, Deja Vu. Here comes Gordon. Bobby Labonte for the checkered flag. Checkered flag is down. And the winner of the 1995 Coca-Cola 600 is Bobby Labonte. Waited a long time for this one to come together. The former Grand National Star in 1991 is their champion. He's just pulled it off. 13th at Sears Point, the last time out. And he's done it tonight. He's given Joe Gibbs a victory in one of the greatest Winston Cup races of the year, the Coca-Cola 600. Be some celebration in victory lane for Bobby Labonte, who broke his shoulder at Darlington, made the next race at Bristol one time. He's a toughie. Michael Waltrip will get third tonight. Sterling Marlin has to settle for fourth.